Hello and welcome to A Look at Bloodborne Pathogens. I'm your host, Dr. Wally. Today, I will be leading you through three main points. The definition of bloodborne pathogens. Standard precautions to avoid exposure. And the post-exposure process. Exposure to blood can happen to anyone at any time. Oh, ouch! Keeping a level head during every situation always helps. Oh, oh. Try and stay calm. Okay. Common sense and maybe a band-aid is what I think we need. Common sense is indeed a great place to start. Knowing the definition of a bloodborne pathogen will help as well. Okay. Where's the bloodborne path again? Thank you, Giant. I'm an organism. Yeah, and I can get you sick. Bloodborne pathogens are disease producing organisms in human blood which can potentially cause disease in humans should a significant exposure occur. Welcome back to Cooking with Linda. Hello everyone. Before we get started, we need to ensure that we have a safe working environment and take the proper precautions. So all sharp objects... gotta go. <laughs> Certain situations will be more likely to expose you to blood. You should always assume all blood and certain body fluids can cause infection. In these instances, take the time to remove potential risk factors. High risk areas for exposure can include technical education, the arts, physical education, and even the common classroom. Organization is a great preventative measure. Use blades, needles, or anything sharp should be disposed of in a sharps container. Besides establishing a safe work environment, the single most effective precaution that you can take is simple hand washing. Use lots of soap and warm water. Hand washing is the most effective. Practicing safe behavior is another good precaution. You can reduce the likelihood of exposure by improving how a job gets done. The safer, the better. 